Here's your rule. Right, just very quickly, got my covers off, we've got a bit of sunshine, so I'm just doing some pond cleaning. Little white legs are out. Oi, oi. So I just want to show you, I think the heat is on actually. It is indeed, still nice and quiet. So we're heating too, I've just done a bit of a water change. So at the moment we're 19 degrees, but, oh, dropped to 18 and a half. We're actually set at 20 degrees at the minute. And we have been for the last probably seven days-ish, seven to 10 days. So what I just wanted to show you, so I'll put on the screen now very quickly and talk through um, the temperatures we've had this week. It's put a light, I'll be a bit easier. I just want to do a very, very quick update because when I did the original video of installing it, um, and touch wood, everything is hunky-dory, it's going well. Honestly, the Firmatech, absolutely faultless. Um, I just want to do a very, very quick video in response to a lot of the comments. So, um, let's do the old weathery bit. So I'm basing it on 10 days, the last 10 days, um, at 20 degrees. So let's quickly have a look at what the temperatures were. Excuse the state of me, I am doing the pond. They do always dress like this. I normally have eye vis on. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the weather and then I'll join you back and we'll have a quick look at the last 10 days on the old, uh, the old consumption meat or whatever they call them, thingy-majiggy that there. All right. Right, I'm trying to do this as a voiceover. God knows what it's going to sound like, but uh, time and date weather, just looking back in history over the last seven to 10 days. Um, as I say, I recorded this as a screenshot, so bear with me while I try and keep up. Um, but right across the board, so over the last 10 days, we had uh, lowest temperatures of about four or five. Um, but on average, it was about nine, 10 degrees at night. Um, you can see the highs there. A couple of days, we went up to 19. But again, that's the temperature, but it was not the feels like. We've had quite a quite a cool breeze. Um, so in the house or in the filter shed, temperature-wise, it's been sort of hitting about 14, 15 degrees, except from today, where it's been exceptionally nice. So you'll see that one as we scan across. Come on, David, scan across, scan across. Uh, so a high of 19 there. But uh, yeah, so lowest-wise, we've been 4 or 5, but as an average at night, sort of 9, 10, 11 degrees, um, and then sort of 15-degree average high temperatures. Back to me in the filter shed. So there you go, so that is the temps. So if I just go through, this is just one of the cheap Amazon-y ones. As I said to you before, this is actually wrong. I had to look, I'm actually 27p, not 26p, which is a bit naughty of me. So we are now ticking, it's just ticked over into 11 days. Uh, it was on 10, which is a bit of a bugger. That has literally just gone to 11. So um, I must have plugged this in at pretty much this time. The clock, as you can see, is completely wrong. Uh, that's my own fault. Um, it's used 27 kilowatts of energy. Uh, it's running, it's at the moment, so it's 240 volts. Ooh, 6.9 amps. Uh, it's lowest it's running on is about 5.7 watts, and the highest is about 1.6, 1.7 kilowatts. But the important thing, so 11 days as I showed you there, so 10 days of use has cost me a whopping well, it's going to be about £7.30 because, as I said, that price per kilowatt is wrong. Um, but, yeah, there you go. So, 10 days um, with those temperatures. Um, and we have been having some cold nights still, um, as you saw from the temps there. But, yeah, £7 and about 30 pence for 10 days. If you want a more scientific approach to it, so up north Koi Pond put out uh, a couple of weeks back a really good video in terms of costs for air source heat pumps. Uh, but this was just a very quick one to show you real time what mine's been for the last 10 days. I'm actually really shocked at how cheap it is. Um, I don't know why I didn't buy one earlier. Yeah, actually I do. It's because it was expensive to buy. But once you got it, the initial cost is gone. And to be fair, to kit the fish you have never looked happier. Um, they're looking a bit pissed off at the moment because I've just done a water change. But um, yeah, they've never looked happier. And it's made, especially with we've had no water, um, I don't know. Everything's just been a lot easier. Um, don't ask me how, it just is. So if you can afford one up front, or if you can get one on monthly or on whatever that PayPal thingy majiggy is, um, I definitely recommend it, but yeah. That's it, seven pound 30 odd for 10 days. I'm happy with that. 